Welcome to the next session of my series on how to fly FPD with FPD Freerider. Uh, in this session, I'm going to give you another drill uh, to help you practice turning. And actually, most of the sessions here on out are going to be focused not so much necessarily on concept. At this point, you have the basic concepts necessary for, for FPD Acro Flight, and it's just a matter of practicing them and making them become more and more second nature so you can execute them at speed and with less reaction time. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple exercises uh, to do and if you start finding that the exercises are getting hard then go back and practice some of the earlier ones. I'm trying to sort of do them from easiest to harder uh, although you know everybody's going to have difficulty at different spots. I do want to show you that in my custom settings I am now running the snappy default so I've got increased rates I've got an increased camera angle, and I'm also going to bump my throttle up to 100% to get more power. Uh, the snappy defaults also change the physics models. I just find that some of these drills are a little bit hard to do. If you have the more docile copter, it's hard to but, but fly whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, if you haven't already spent five bucks to unlock the full version of FPD Freerider, you will need to do that if you want to change these settings. Uh, you don't have access to these under the than the free version you just have sort of low rates and high rates um, but you know it's five bucks it's, it's probably worth it whatever you decide so I'm going to go to the desert and the first exercise I want to give you in this session is I want you to pick two of these gates ideally pick two gates that are a little bit far apart and I want you to stay low to the ground and do smooth and coordinated turns back and forth. Give yourself time to settle out between the gates. Don't put, don't use two gates that are so close together that you don't have time to easily finish the turn. See, and do smooth and coordinated turns around the gates. Staying low the whole time. Okay. And they don't have to be the same two gates every time. You could uh, you could pick a different one. Ooh, that was not too great. So now I'll go over to this gate maybe. Alright, so that's going to be your first exercise. Just do smooth and coordinated turns back and forth around the gates. So here we'll go around this one. And we'll go around this one. Use as much speed or as little speed as you need to keep your turns smooth. But if you find that your turns are starting to get sloppy, if you find that your turns are starting to get sloppy, slow down and Practice making them smooth and nicely coordinated so that the horizon stays. A nicely coordinated turn will have a roughly consistent horizon angle throughout. You're not, you're not constantly adjusting your roll angle at, in the middle of the turn to correct it. So the mistake that you might make is, I'm rolled too hard, now I have to roll out of it, and I know that crashed. Right, so you're not going to crash every time, but if you enter the turn and you mess up your entry angle right now, oh, now, see, I didn't quite, that was not smooth and not, not nicely coordinated, right? Or maybe I turn in and I turn in too steep and then I have to sort of back out of it, pitch out of it, right? So don't just focus on entering smoothly, maintaining altitude. And going around, I did a full 360 there. Going around the gates. Okay. And in fact, let's make that exercise number two. So exercise number one is going to be just doing smooth 180s around two gates. Keeping your altitude low and just doing a, basically a figure eight around two gates. And then exercise number two can be doing coordinated 360s. Keeping the gate always off your left side, or your right side, as it may be. Always turn left and right. Don't get in the habit of always turning one way. Okay? Again, I'm going to 
approach the gate. I'm going to turn. Trying to hold the horizon at a consistent angle. Keep the horizon. Whatever angle you establish going into the turn, try to hold the horizon at a consistent angle using roll and the throttle to maintain your altitude. So that's going to be the second exercise you can try is doing 360s around the gates. Okay. And then another exercise you can try is doing figure S's. So going back and forth, basically, uh, oh, what's, good? what's the name for this exercise? I don't know. Going back and forth, left side, right side, you know, like in skiing, right? Right side, left side. Right side, left side. Ooh, that was great. So you see, I came uncoordinated there. I wasn't in. I wasn't in very good uh, coordination. wasn't in very good control. And this is kind of like doing the gates. You might ask, well, why aren't I just flying through the gates? Well, flying through the gates doesn't give you a lot of room to miss and mess up. Flying left, right, around the gates gives you a little bit of room to make mistakes and to swing wide and not have the perfect approach. Whereas, if you force yourself to go through the gates, you have very little room to miss. Okay, so there's three exercises to practice this week. One of them, or this, I say this week, <laughs> as if we're releasing these weekly. <laughs> one of them is, uh, one of them is to do, uh, S in between them, left and right. I'm completely blanking on the name of that event. I'll remember it as soon as I stop recording. Slalom, slalom, is to do slalom, there we go. Is to do a slalom with, around the gates. Okay, another one is to do a coordinated turn in 360 circles around the gate. Just try to hold the, the, the gate just in the same position in your camera. See, it's just barely off my left side. Now I've lost it. Okay, 360. And then the other one is to do figure eight coordinated turns between two gates. Like so. Okay? Alright, give that a practice, and then, uh, then, uh, have fun, and I'll see you next time.